hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in today's tutorial we are going to learn something new so before any further ado let's get into photoshop and grades i'm going to use a five paper size here then change it to inches the re resolution 300 then you grade so here we are now i'm going to bring my guideline and position it over here somewhere here it's okay or you shift it a bit it's okay all right having apply or bring the guideline i'm going to select the pen tool then you click over here then come to the center of this guideline then you click then click somewhere here then zoom out then you hold your control key then you drag this one down then you now click on it then you zoom in so okay then duplicate it ctrl j on your shortcut key if you want to use keyboard to duplicate then you drag this one in all right then apply this color okay then you come to the circle one then you apply this dark color then i'm going to reposition it this way then you drag this one over here then take this one in a bit to this side then come back here click on this one to delete then delete this one all right so you duplicate it again and then apply white color then come over here then you drag it in to this position something like this all right Okay. Then you bring this image. Then create a clippy mask. Then come back again then you bring this image here which is back to school position it this way it's okay then i'm going to copy the name of the school so this name i'm going to use here is not existence i'm just using it for a tutorial reason or purpose only so if you have your own name name of the school then use the name of the school you want to use then you can also 
put school logo and the name so in this case or in this tutorial there is no logo so i'm only using school name so if you have your own logo and the for your own design then you can input or place your school logo so now this is where i position the school name so if you have a logo position it over here then you put the name under Then I'm going to draw another shape here. So come over here, then you click and drag. Hold your control key if you are doing this. Make sure you hold your control key before you select any of these points here. Then hold your alt key, then you click there and you combine it so i think it's okay like this so you can make it according to the way you like it so, well, I prefer this way, it's okay like this. Now, I'm going to apply this color on this shape. Then duplicate it again. Then reduce it. Then I'm going to change the color of this one then to this dark color here navy blue then I'm going to draw a cycle over here then apply this color Shoot this one up by using your arrow key. Okay, it's okay like this. Now I'm going to duplicate it again, then reduce it this way. Select this one, then apply a drop shadow. So the draw shadow is not going to be much. Something like this is okay. Then I'm going to also apply a drop shadow on this one and it's going to be a light. Something like this. So if you want your own to pop up, then you can apply a shadow that will pop up. Then apply a clipping mask EM. Then select them, duplicate it, then move it to this side. Alright, now I'm going to release the clipping mask, then remove the image and I'm going to position this image over there. I like this image. Okay, now create a clipping mask again. 
dense group the boats all of them so that if you want to move it or apply any action then you can move them together okay then i'm going to copy this text over here then i'll come here and i'll paste it then i'll change the color to white then i'm going to scale it out then close the character space then copy the body test and i'll paste it then i'm going to change the font make it regular then and space it i'm going to apply a space again Select this polygon to there. Change the number. I feel like spacing this again so that there will be enough space. Now go back to your space, then you space the line. Okay, now I can make my drawing now. Draw a small rectangle, then you apply this color. Then you duplicate it. Ctrl J. Then another way to duplicate it faster is by holding your Alt key. Then you drag. When you hold your Alt key, you see how the mouse or the cursor will change then you click and drag all right let's go this way then i'm going to drag this one that's small okay so that it will be in line with the test properly then select them all and group it Ctrl G. Now I will copy this one. Then Ctrl J to duplicate this one. Position it over here. And I'm going to change this color to this color we are using here. Then I will draw a cycle over here. Then I will change the color here. Scale it out a bit. Then you duplicate it. Then reduce the size here. Change the color to white. Then apply a drop shadow. Okay. Then I'll do copy this test again. Change the color to white. 
then use this font here Sashri Gothic position it properly so that it will be centered to the test now i'm going to draw a rectangle i'm going to use a polygon then put number in three here then you drag it like this make it white color then you now click on it first then apply vertical to rotate it now you now draw a rectangle line here now you select the two of them apply vertical and uh, horizontal no only the vertical alignment so that it will center it now i'm going to bring this image to represent the laboratory here because the image as you can see it symbolizes lab here so this image is good for the laboratory then you duplicate it again select them then you drag it over this position then copy this text over here ctrl v to paste it then you drag it over here then you move it around here select the image release the clipping mask then you delete it then i'm going to replace this image that indicates interactive class here then you apply a clipping mask then i'm going to select the right angle then position it so that it will be centered to the test and the arrow then you duplicate it again and you drag it over here hold your shift key while dragging so that it will be in line with others then paste this test to replace the other one then you also do the same thing so that it will be aligned together all right then you delete the image then you bring this image over here reduce the size now i'm going to apply this area that indicates the playground okay then i'm now going to remove the guideline the guideline has done its own part So you copy this text here 
then draw another right angle over here make it white color before that i'm going to group all this right angle i mean the sine code then you group all the features by doing this then you can see properly the area you are working on then hold your shift key down to drag it like this then apply center and horizontal alignment so i'm going to apply outline color then change the outline to this one so this is the outline color color of the background so and i change it to dash dash now i'm going to draw another rectangle over here Change the color from white to this background color. Something like this, okay. Then select, then you apply vertical, I mean horizontal alignment so that it will be centered. Then draw another one again over here. Okay, now I'm going to use this color again. Then use your arrow key to drag it backward. Change it to white. Then you close the character space. Scale it out. Duplicate it. Then you replace it. Close the character space there. Reduce the font size. I will make this one more bigger. Copy this percent, Ctrl V to paste, I will center it between these two colors. Okay, then copy this co test here. Come over here, then you paste. Change this color to our background color here. Then you reduce the font size, drag it down over this position. Then you duplicate it. Copy this one. You can type it manually if you want. I 
apply a bit drop shadow okay then duplicate this one drag it down then come to copy this test here uh, Ctrl V to paste it then you scale it out this way so this is what you have there now I'm going to copy this last test here select your test tool and you come paste it then you change the color to white so this is how it come thank you very much for watching please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell remember to share like and comment i really appreciate